Now, from point shoes to paintbrush, a vivid new art exhibition in East Sussex showcases the work of classically trained dancer Siobhan Stanley, who performed with the Royal Ballet and Ballet Rombert before turning to a different art form. Now, her display is centering on the little-known story of black Elizabethans who live flamboyant lives in the leading social circles of the day. Stanley's worked as an artist for seven years now before finally going public with her debut exhibition in Robertsbridge. Robin Gibson has been to meet her. They're characters who look as if they have a story to tell. It's an eye on the Elizabethan era, with colourfully loud costumes, melancholy stares. Their paintings presented in traditional style, with a 21st century take on race, gender and hidden history. They remained unrecorded by painters of the day. Yes, you do see them occasionally in paintings, sort of in a corner with a little bowl of fruit or something, as servants or musicians. But I was really compelled to just go into an investigation of this and have a, you know, really full reimagining of how would they have been depicted. The debut show comes after seven years of learning to paint. Dedication comes naturally to someone who became a soloist with the Royal Ballet, Sadler's Wells and Ballet Rombert, as well as acting. Is this a look back into an Elizabethan scene or is this the 21st century? Which is it? I, I wanted, this is the thing about, I wanted to reimagine, had they been captured by painters of the day, these men are part of the invited. They have a seat at the table. Mm. Curiously, the original versions of the paintings on show at the Independent Blackshed Gallery aren't for sale. We're a contemporary art space. We, we, rely, on a, a, we rely on a commercial element, but it's quite nice to have a Christmas show that actually isn't selling anything. The exhibition is free to view until the end of January. Robin Gibson, BBC South East Today, Robertsbridge. She's seriously wow, talented. She is talented, multi-talented.